Hi, Alton Brown here in my closet to tell you that bow ties are cool. Everybody knows this, yet so many of the bow curious out there resist the urge to simply tie one on. Well, let me point out that bow ties are eminently practical. All right, when wearing a bow tie, one does not worry about spilling, you know, mustard on your tie. You just get it on your shirt and shirts are, you know, really cheap to clean. So it's no big deal. Um, you will also uh, never have to worry about getting your tie tangled up in your harness or cables or controls in the cockpit. And believe me, in a bow tie, you'll never fret about being tie strangled in a fight. In other words, bow ties allow you to stylishly sidestep the myriad hazards that straight tie wearers commonly face each and every day. Now, I'm going to assume just for the sake of argument that you are not currently in possession of a bow tie. So let us review the styles available, okay? Um, this straight end model is called a Jackson. I like these, especially with a dinner jacket, very crisp. A little on the nerdy end of the scale, if that's your vibe. Uh, here we have a standard bow. Good place to uh, start, very typical style, but a little expected. Uh, the larger uh, butterfly bow is even uh, easier to tie because that's big, but unless you're very confident and, well, I guess you could be a professional clown. I, ju I just wouldn't start here, it's too risky. Okay, uh, here's my personal favorite style. It is called either a bat wing or a diamond tip, sometimes both. Now, a bat wing is perfectly suitable for everyday wear or for evening wear. Uh, Dr. No, uh, James Bond, Batwing with the dinner suit, just saying. And what I especially like about the Batwing is if uh, you have a reversible model, you'll be able to get a little uh, peek at the uh, backside sticking out, and they're still relatively rare, which uh, uh, makes you even cooler. Did I mention Bogart wore Batwings? Bogart. As for getting the length right, I like bow ties that have just a, a buckle for adjustment. And although the uh, length is a personal decision, there are two good ways to kind of get started. You take your neck size if you know it, double it, and add two inches, and that's you know how long the tie should be. Or you can just start with your pants waist size. All right, enough talk, we tie. <clears throat> All right, there are a few different ways uh, to tie a bow tie, but as far as I'm concerned, this is the, the easiest. It's a good place to start, because essentially it's tying a shoe. The problem is, is the perspective is <laughs> inside the shoe, which is tough. So you're gonna wanna use a, a mirror. Now I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, watch this video in a mirror and everything will be just fine. Step one, place the tie around the neck. Whichever side you want to face out in the end should now be facing in. All right, take your dominant hand and pull that side down uh, until you get about uh, two and a half inches, uh, you know, more than on the other side. Step two, cross over the short side and loop up and through thusly, just like tying a shoe. Step three, form the back loop, all right? Now your tie's got two sides, you've got two choices. You pinch and cross like that, or you can twist and pinch and cross. But you know what? I'm gonna go with the camouflage side. Step four, drop the long piece over, okay? And then take it up the back and around, essentially trapping that back loop. See, should be able to let go, stays right there, okay? Now this is where things get tricky. Five, you're gonna loosen the loop that you just made and use your finger to poke the top piece through. Kind of pull on it like that. Now that looks horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it's okay. Step six, pull the ends just a little, then hold the uh, closed loops, what knot tires call the bites, and simply tighten and repeat several times gently. Now I don't like my knots too tight and I don't like them fussy. If they're a little off, it's fine. It makes me look like I don't really care. And that's cool. Excellent. Now, buy a bow tie and practice. Oh, if the knot looks good, but the tie's a little too loose, just lift your collar and tighten up that uh, buckle in the back. You look good. Remember, America, 